Hey guys, this is Teresa Love with Kingdom Initiatives and Power of the Truth. Today is Testimony Tuesday. Um, I really didn't think, I mean, that I was going to be before you today because I've been, this is my last day packing and, um, you know, just came from physical therapy, um, headed to another um, doctor's appointment and everything before I just head out. And, um, the Lord is just so good. I um, I put my sunglasses on because I've just been like ugly crying because God is just so amazing. He's so amazing. Like I said, I didn't think I would be before you today because I wasn't looking to give like a testimony Tuesday. I really wasn't. But um, when I got in the car this morning, I just felt the Lord presence and I started to weep on my way. And I was like, what is this God? <laughs> And after I finished my physical therapy appointment, you know, I was just like, well, I have like an hour and, and 20 minutes before my other appointment. And um, maybe I should go and just, um, you know, there's a couple of things that I need to do at the apartment to just close everything out. And the Lord was just like, go to the nest, you know, and I was like, well, I'm meeting, you know, a friend for dinner tonight. I was actually going to skip. <laughs> Um, you know, lunch and wait and eat and everything. Cause I tell you, you girl, it's just been, um, just eating more, you know, um, that I've, I've felt like I've ever eaten before in my life, you know, with, you know, just going through the things, you know, since the accident and things like that. And just, um, not being able to, you know, fully work out and, and everything, but you know, that's okay. I know God has me there, so I'm really not worried about that, but um, I'm just like, we've eaten enough is what I was thinking. And, um, but God said, go there. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet. You know, he know I love that. Who knows, you know, that spot. So who knows when I'll, <clears throat> you know, be able to get back, you know? And um, so I go and um, I was gonna sit, you know, over where busy area because I was like well if I'm here I may as well sit where a lot of people are and I can just pray that God's presence you know they encounter God's presence but then he highlighted another little spot by the door so I did you know I was like it was a beautiful day so I'll sit close to the door that's fine I won't be cold is what I was thinking and they brought my food and um I was like hmm, this is interesting I was like I've never had like peanuts on my salad before you know, and the manager was like, oh, well, it's normally there. And I'm like saying to myself, no, but okay, you know, I'm not allergic to peanuts or anything, you know. And um, and then I noticed my chicken wasn't as fresh, you know, but, you know, I didn't let that get to me. I just prayed over my food. I really, truly pray over my food. And that's another thing that I'm going to release later because God gave me a dream. You all, we all need to be praying over our food. And, um, but anyway, so... I see this young man and he has, actually has on a nest t-shirt and he has tats all over his top arm and I think his leg too and stuff like that and he sits at a table across from me and I'm just kind of looking and eating my food and still thanking the Lord for a beautiful day you know I'm like thank you that it's a beautiful day my last day here is a beautiful day and um but then I'm just looking at this young man and you know and God is just highlighting him. You know, he's not saying much. He's just highlighting him. And I'm just observing him. And um, he starts to, he's reading a book. And um, I saw that they brought him like eggs and chicken only. And I was like, okay. I can tell he had been working out. I was like, okay, he's in fitness or whatever. And um, he was reading. And then I saw him pray. And I said, okay, Lord, what are you saying here? You this young man is praying and everything and um and you can tell he's had a, a heart life and everything so when I finished my food you know he was about to you know at first he was cleaning up and stuff like that and I was just like well Lord you'll make a way if, if you want me to talk to this young man and um <clears throat> like I said you could tell you know the Lord I think he possibly had some time, you know, in prison. I really do. And, um, cause I, I just felt that. So I went over and I introduced myself and I said, are you into fitness? I said, I saw you with your, you know, your, your eggs and your chicken only like that. And he kind of laughed and said he was going to work out after he left here and everything. And I said, I saw you praying. 
I said, God has highlighted you. And then the Holy Spirit just started prophesying over this young man. And when I say young man, he's probably, I'm sure he's like in his about 28 and everything. I'm 54, so I call everybody. And um, he was, the book he was reading was Charles Wendell's um, Something About Hope. Something About Hope. And the Lord just started prophesying over this person's life and he just started to cry. He didn't care who saw him. He was weeping. And he, God was just telling him when he felt that he couldn't trace him, he couldn't hear him, that he had him so wrapped in his love. And <laughs> it was so beautiful. And he asked if he could hug me. And um, of course I said, yes, you know. And he was just like, hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus, right there. You know, I haven't been able to stop crying since then because I was like, look how much you love us, God. And if we allow you to use us, you know, I'm so grateful I listened to God and went to the nest cafe, even though the food wasn't, you know, I've never gone there and the food wasn't good. <laughs> never, ever. And, um, but God fed me more than I could ever imagine. He really has. He's so good. He loves us. He loves you. <laughs> oh, I know. I look a hot mess. I don't care. I'm putting everything. That was another thing I told God. I'm everything. I'm laying everything down at his feet. And I'm ready to just rest in his goodness. And, um. You know, all is well with me, you know. <laughs> all is well and all is well with you as well. God loves you with an everlasting love. And, um, you know, he is encountering people one person at a time. Remember, he's the one that leaves to 99 just for the one. And he blessed me by showing me his love to that young man. And, um, yeah, so that's Testimony Tuesday. Um, don't allow your circumstances and the things that you have to walk through to disqualify you. Because Jesus has qualified you. He's equipped you. He's called you. And his love is enough. His love is enough. We're about to rise up. And we are rising and we're going to take back everything that the enemy has stolen. And it starts today. That's what God told me that young, to that young man. Your new beginning starts today. Perceive it. Receive it. And know that I am God. Yeah, he's God alone. He's God alone. So I bless you. <laughs> With that, I mean, God is just so amazing. So be faithful. Be faithful. Just do. Let the Spirit lead you. You're going to be blessed by blessing someone else. That's where our blessings come from. Amen. I love you. God bless you.